Hey guys, and welcome to the ultimate guide to retouching. In this quick intro video, we're going to take you through everything you need to know in order to get started with this retouching tutorial. We're going to show you how to load the actions, brushes, and your images into your computer so you can be all set up and ready to follow along with the tutorial. We're also going to show you how to navigate your download folder so you can stay really well organized. And then finally, we're going to talk about retouching itself, some standard practices and some good ideas when you're retouching your images moving forward. All right, let's go ahead and get into the intro. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the actual download from the ultimate guide to retouching. Now, jumping into our screen, we're going to see our download package. We have a bunch of different folders. We have 01, Getting Started, Lightroom Tutorial, Facial Features, Skin, and you're going to be downloading these in separate files. We did that to make it a lot easier and faster to actually download everything. So what I would suggest doing is keeping your 01, 02, 03, 04, just go ahead and stick all those in the same folder. That's going to keep it really easy to stay organized. Now let's talk a little bit about folder structure just so you guys feel super comfortable navigating through this product. Okay, so here in section one, we see getting started, actions, brushes, images, intro video. Section two, we see a Lightroom tutorial. Now this is a tutorial and these tutorials actually go with the images that we already loaded into Lightroom. Okay, here in facial features, you'll see it's broken down into different sections and in each section, we've included a couple of JPEGs as well as a video tutorial for the actual section. Now, we've included JPEGs for all the sections, but if you'd like to work on TIFFs or 16-bit images, remember you can always just export your own images from Lightroom. We've included all the digital negative or the raw files, so you can always export your own TIFF files out whenever you'd like. All right, guys, so right now we're in the getting started section. So let's go over to one, getting started, and you're gonna see we have actions, brushes, images, and intro video, which is what you're watching right now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to load your actions. Now, the easiest way to load the actions, let's go ahead and open up our Photoshop. Here we are in Photoshop. We're gonna go to Window and down to Actions. There we go. So we have our Actions dialog now. Now I'd like to go ahead and load the actions for my retouching tutorial because we're going to be using these throughout the tutorial. So here in actions, I've got a little menu item right here. I'm going to click there, go down to where it says load actions. All right, there we go. And here in the actions, what we're going to do is go ahead and find our, there we go, download package, 01 getting started. And over here to actions, we're going to click on flurnretouching.atn and hit open. There we go. And you can see these are these are actually retouching actions. So you can see it loaded our floor and retouch dodge and burn darks, lights, frequency separation, 8-bit, and 16-bit. All right, so there you have it. That's loading actions into Photoshop. Pretty easy. Just open Photoshop, go to your actions panel down in your window, go to your menu, and then go down to load actions and bring them up from the actions folder. All right, guys, the next thing we need to load into Photoshop is our brushes. Now, to do that, really easy. You can simply go to your Getting Started section, Brushes, and you can just double-click on Flirt and Retouching Brushes.abr, and it'll open in Photoshop. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this in Photoshop. So we're on a new document. I'm going to hit B for the Brush Tool, and then I'm going to right-click. Here we have our menu for our Brush Tool. So you can see you can choose different brushes, things like that. Now, if I want to load the brushes, from the actual tutorial, which you do want to do because they're going to make retouching a lot easier. Go ahead and click on this little menu item. We're going to go down to load brushes. Okay, there we go. And now we're able to see really quickly, there we go, download package, getting started, brushes, and there we go. I'm going to hit enter, and here we go. These are our brushes that we need to get through the rest of the tutorial. Okay, so these brushes are super important, guys. They've got a lot of great settings that are going to help you retouch really well. And also, I'm going to be using a pressure-sensitive tablet for the remainder of this tutorial. So this is a Wacom Intuos small tablet. It works a lot like a mouse does. Basically, you have a pen that comes along with your tablet. So as I move my pen around the pad here on the tablet, it's a lot like moving a cursor around on your screen. And it has pressure sensitivity so I can, let's say I'm pressing really hard, it'll put a lot of ink down, or maybe I don't press a lot, <laughs> maybe I don't press hard, and it won't put a lot of ink down as well. All right, for more information on the Wacom tablet and how we use these to retouch, just check out the index page. It's flurn.com slash 
retouching. We're going to be talking about that page a ton. It's a great resource for you moving forward with this retouching tutorial. There's going to be a ton of resources about like the gear we actually use, some frequently asked questions, a space for you to ask your own questions, and some helpful videos to get you on your way to retouching even better. All right, guys, so we've loaded our actions and our brushes into Photoshop. Now, the only thing that's left is the images, and we're going to load those into Lightroom. So we'll show you how to do that right now. So I've went ahead and opened up Lightroom. We've got a new catalog going on. Now, you can create a new catalog very easily. Just go to File, down to New Catalog. You can call it whatever we want. Let's just call it Retouch. And we'll hit Create there. And there we go. It opens a new catalog where you can keep all your images together. Now, we just want to add our images to the catalog. We don't need to move them around and things like that. So what we're going to do is go down to the bar Import Dialog. Okay. And then you can find it over here on the side, like if it was on your desktop, you could definitely find it on your desktop. In my case, it's going to be, it's always going to be in your download package, getting started, and in your image folder. And we're going to click on our capture folder. So here are all of our images from our capture folder. There we go. The images that are included with the download. We just click on add and hit import. There we go. And it's going to place all of our files into Lightroom to make it really easy. That way in the Lightroom section of this tutorial, everything's already going to be there. You don't need, to, don't need to muck with it more than one time. It's already in there, ready to go. All right, guys, so we've loaded all of our actions, our brushes, and our images into our computer. We're ready to actually get into the tutorial. Now, before we do, we're going to go over a couple of key practices when it comes to retouching that are going to help you get better results. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the general order that you're going to take when you're retouching files. So we start off in the camera. We get images that are look great. Then we're going to go ahead and load them into Lightroom. Then there are a lot of adjustments that need to happen in Lightroom. So that's where we start the tutorial off. We start it off in Lightroom. Then from there, we move into Photoshop, where things get refined even further. And when you're done in Photoshop, it's time to export those out as a JPEG. So we're going to take the idea and the approach that I would actually take to retouch files with this entire tutorial. That's why we're going to start off with Lightroom. Then we're going to go into different facial features like eyes and nose, lips, things like that. Then we're going to go into skin smoothing techniques and then we're going to go into complete edits. That's going to allow us to get a really good idea of everything that happens for a retouch. And you can pick and choose your own techniques and combine them to create your own style when you're retouching photos. So now just a couple of tips when it comes to retouching. The first thing I like to do when I'm retouching my photos is just take a red pen and circle all the things that I want to change. It makes it super easy to see what I actually want to do. And with a plan, it's a lot easier for me to actually carry out that action. So circle all the things that you want to change and then go about just filling that in. The next thing I would recommend is toning back your effects just a little bit. I think as humans, we tend to overdo things most of the time, especially when it comes to retouching. I'm sure you've seen images out there on the internet where you're like, man, that's way too retouched. We want to avoid that. So generally what I'll do is I'll get an effect or a retouch to where I think it looks pretty good. And then I'll just take the opacity of the layer of the group and knock it down to about 80 or 90%. That's just going to tone it down just a little bit and it's going to help it make it look realistic in the end product. And finally, guys, be sure to take some breaks when you're retouching. I find that if I retouch something and I want to do like start to finish all in one sitting, then I'll get to the point, I think it looks great, and then I'll go take a break and then I'll come back and it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look how I thought it did. That's because your eyes tend to adjust to images. So as you're retouching, it's important to take breaks every 10 to 15 minutes just to give your brain and your eyes a little bit of reset time. All right, guys, that's all we need to know to get started with our tutorial. Thanks so much for picking up the ultimate guide to retouching. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and it just does all the things you want it to do. It brings all of your retouching dreams to life. Anyway, thanks a bunch, guys. We'll see you in the next session. Bye, everyone.